friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. I'm so excited about today's video. I feel like I'm excited about all my videos, but I mean, I guess that's good. <laughs> I have the new Ace Pute Oceanic palette right here. I'm so excited. I did not, under any circumstances, need another blue-green palette because I have the Jeffree Star Blue Blood. I got that Just My Luck palette from ColourPop. I have the Pinky Rose Exotic Peacock. I bought the Certify Affinity 2 already. I still have the Menagerie Cosmetics Whale Song in the mail. Did not need another blue-green based palette. However, the Ace Vite Flare palette is my number one favorite palette. I love the formula. I love the color story. I just think it's beautiful. And then when I saw this color story in a formula that I just really adore, I, I couldn't pass it up. I just, I love it so much. It's even prettier in person than it was in pictures. I'm blown away by it already. It's just, it's really pretty. And looking at it, I don't feel like I have some of these colors. I will be doing an in-depth kind of comparing my blue-green palette video once I have the whale song and I played with that one. But I don't feel like I have a neon green quite like this. I don't feel like I have these shades. I don't feel like I have this shade. And I also don't feel like I really have this shade or this shade or maybe even this one. But I don't know. I'll have to figure that out when I do that kind of comparing video. But first off the bat, I'm really excited to dive into it. I don't know what look I'm going to do. That's how my first impressions videos work. I just kind of wing it and just kind of play with the shadows. I don't have a firm plan. I'm not necessarily trying to play with every shadow. I'm just trying to create a cohesive look and have fun with it and see what I can create. I have really high hopes. I love my Ace Beauté Paradise collection. I, like I said, love my Ace Beauté Flare palette. I have a feeling this one is going to be a love of mine as well. I can't wait to dive in. So I guess I'm just gonna zoom you in now and we're gonna play. I'm not gonna go over details of the palette as far as pricing and stuff goes because you can look that up on your own. I'm also not gonna do swatches because I never do it. I feel like I should start explaining that I don't do swatches because I always get that one person that's like, why didn't you do swatches? It's like, are you new here? Maybe. I don't do swatches. I don't feel like they really tell a full story of what they're gonna perform like. So I just like to play with them on my eyes so it's a true first impression. I don't wanna have any bias based on any swatches that I get. Anyways, I'm going to zoom you in now. Prime my eyes with this Sigma eyeshadow primer in the shade Ignite. My friend Bridget or Porcelain gave this to me and I'm ready to dive in. Also really quick timeline wise, compared to some videos that are going up after this, this is my first video I'm filming back from my weekend at the hair show, just so you know. Okay, let's just move on. Okay, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin because I just want all of these on my eyes. I don't know. It's so tough. I'm just super, super dying to put this one on my eyes. So this is Fiji. I'm going to go ahead and take that. It's just kind of a matte tealy color. I'm going to take that on this fluffy brush. This one's from ColourPop. It's an E2. I really like this blending brush. It's very big and fluffy. And I'm just going to start working that through my crease. I don't know if I said it either, but I don't set my eyeshadow primer. I like it to be a little tacky. I feel like I personally get better, I don't know, better performance that way. As you can see, I'm just taking it all the way from inner to outer corner. I'm also dragging and smoking it out underneath that lower lash line. I feel like I do a lot of my looks similar in the beginning at least. I like to just have that kind of shade as a halo around my entire eyeball. I don't know why. I just like, I mean, you guys know me. I like very smoky, grungy looks, so I like to have just that shade kind of peeking out all around my eye. And this shade is quite lovely. I also like to periodically go in with my makeup sponge and tap around the outside edge because it just helps blend everything out even more. So I think now I want to start deepening things up with turtle. I think that could be pretty? Question mark? This is just an Anastasia dual ended brush. I love these little Anastasia brushes so so much. I'm gonna start this kind of in my outer corner and start working it through the rest of my crease. Ooh, that's a really pretty shade. My bangs are driving me nuts. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Going back in with a little bit more of that Fiji shade, just to buff and blend things out even more. These shades are working together quite nicely though. And I guess I'm doing a pretty winged out shade. I didn't know if I was going to. Sometimes my hand just does it and I just listen. It has its best it has my best interest at heart, you know? <laughs> I might be a little 
extra low energy this morning. I could not sleep last night. I just had so much energy. I really wanted to film late, late last night, but I told myself, no, I needed to just finish off my weekend away with just sleeping and relaxing, but the sleep part didn't happen anyway. But it's fine, everything's fine. I slept maybe five hours last night at the most. Hmm, so I think I wanna add some more bluish into the mix. I wanna take Pacific now and really just deepen up that outer corner. I'm taking that on this little Morphe brush. It's the E17. I mostly just like it because it's kind of tapered and it's small. And it's really good for getting in this outer corner. This is a really cool navy color. Wonder which blue green palette at the end of all this like blue green palette stuff is gonna be my favorite. I keep getting people that are asking me if I'm gonna get that ColourPop Blue Moon palette and the answer is no. I definitely do not need that at all. Like it looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And for 12 bucks it's such a cute blue palette and I've heard good things about it, but I do not need that in my life. I wanted that watermelon one more but I didn't get that one either. This is turning very grungy, I'm a fan. The thing with Ace Bute shadows, just in case you're new to using them, they are very pigmented, extremely pigmented. So go in with a light hand and build up rather than just going in with a ton on your brush because they will get overwhelming very quick, just so you're all aware. Because of that reason, I know it's not everyone's favorite formula. I personally do not have a problem working with overly pigmented shadows. I really, I kind of prefer it. I'd rather just dip in lightly and get a ton of impact than have to spend forever, I don't know, building it up because it's such a sheer shade. But other than that, I do not have any problems with these shades at all, like these shadows. I mean, obviously I haven't played with this whole palette in its entirety, but as far as the other Ace Beauté palettes, they all blend nice, they look beautiful, they layer nicely, I do not have any issues. So now I want to take just one more shade, I want to take Bali, and I want to just kind of run that along the outside edge of certain areas potentially my whole eye. Oh, that's so cute on the brush. I love this like powdery blue shade. This is an R37 from Morphe. It's just like a bigger fluffy brush. I'm just going to start kind of in that outside edge. Just add some of that powder blue dimension. See how that transformed it? It's crazy. It just goes from like that green to blue now. I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. Just like a light little kiss, a light little touch. Pat my sponge over everything. I'm gonna go back in with my very, very first brush. And I personally love the way this looks right now in person. It looks so cute. I don't know how it looks on camera. It's always hard for me to tell until I'm editing. Sometimes in the viewfinder it looks a little whack, but then when I go to edit it looks fine. But I'm happy with this right now. I'm not gonna do an actual cut crease because I just, I frankly don't feel like it. <laughs> but I am gonna do a faux cut crease, which you've seen me do a hundred times. I use my NYX Glitter Primer, I lay some of that down. I also use this with every shimmer ever, so it's not anything special. I'm treating these shadows the same as usual. I'm gonna lay this down across my lid, but I'm gonna be very precise about it and really just create a nice crispy line, <laughs> kind of where I would naturally wanna cut the crease, you know? I have a nice little flat brush here to help me with that. I know I'm gonna use a couple shimmers, I just don't know which ones. I might say this wrong, it's whatever, I just care about the shadow. My Konos, I'm gonna take that one right here and I'm going to put that one in the front half and then I wanna take Marina and put it in the outer half, blending it into that matte dark blue. I think that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of reflecting what's going on in the crease where it's a little more sea foamy and then going into the blue. So I'm taking this little flat brush from Alamar. I got it for free in BoxyCharm a long time ago. And I'm gonna lay that glitter primer all across my lid and I'm gonna make sure I'm being nice and extra precise right in this crease zone where I would naturally cut my crease. And then just as it gets towards the center, I'm just going to start kind of feathering that out. And I'm gonna dip into that gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery green. Ah. I'm just gonna see what happens. So cute. I'm really going in and just grabbing lots and packing it on. I like my shimmers to look as intensely metallic and almost chunky as possible. I think it looks really cute. I am going to take this little green color and just take it right along that crease area. Just extend it a little bit further. 
And then I'm gonna start building up that blue now. This one is from Luxie. It is a 213. It's a little shadow brush. It's not as precise and flat because I just don't need that anymore because I don't need it to be precise in that sense. I just need it to be dense. I'm gonna dip into Marina now. And just pop that right here in the outer corner area. Oh, when these colors fuse together, it's so pretty. But I do like to do a thing where it's a little bit diagonal. That's why I extended that top line a little bit on that first shade. I don't know, I just think it adds a cool effect. I don't know why I do the things I do, I just do them. I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I used with the first shimmer with no additional product just to kind of tap over. And then I'll go back in with the blue brush with no additional product just to tap over. So it's a nice soft fusion. And then I'm gonna take the brush with, that I used with the matte dark blue and no additional product just to smudge. But everything really, it's working together really nicely. I'm not having issues. Feeling pretty satisfied with that. What do I want in my inner corner? I kind of think I want this cute little algae moment, a little neon moment in my inner corner. What do you guys think? That could be cute. I might use this and then top it with a face highlight. Because there isn't really a good highlighty shade in this palette for me. On deeper skin tones, Jellyfish would be so rad. But I'm also really liking this matte neon green in my inner corner. Very toxic. Just lightly going in with that first brush just too buff. I think that's mighty cute. I don't even think I'm going to go in with a face highlight. I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I do need a color in my waterline though. Should I mimic my inner corner and do this neon green? I think that would be lovely. Very lovely. This one is Electric Daisy from ColourPop. I'm going to pop that in my waterline. How cute is that? I love this look. I think it's so pretty. So far I'm loving this palette. It's like everything I hoped and dreamed. It's so pretty. I feel very ocean with it. I feel like the other blue-green palettes, this one definitely has a different tone. It definitely reflects more of those oceany blue-green colors rather than just traditional blue-green colors, if you know what I mean. If you have a bunch of blue-green palettes, you will know what I mean. Otherwise, I probably sound like I'm just talking nonsense. But this one does give me very oceany vibes. And as someone who's scared of the ocean, I love this look. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other eye now. I'm going to throw on my lashes, something on my lips, and we will finish this up. All right, this is the final look. What do you think? I love it so much. This is definitely one of my favorite looks I've done in a little while. I, I, I always like my looks, but I really like this look. I think it's so cool. I love the neon green inner corner. I feel like that just gave it that extra little pop. I'm so into it. My lashes are from the Lash Graveyard. I don't know what they are. I apologize. They're just wispy lashes. It's not like anything that serious. And on my lips, I went with the Wet Cherry Gloss from Lime Crime called Flaming Cherry. I got this recently and I've been waiting for an excuse to wear it and I think it looks great with this eye look. What do you guys think? <laughs> do you like this look? Do you like what I did with this palette? Did you get this palette? Do you want this palette? I would love to hear your thoughts about it. My 3 looks one palette with this is going to be the next 3 looks one palette that there is. So I'm going to start filming that within the next day or two. And I'm really excited to keep playing with this. I think it's really pretty based off first impressions. I was really excited to play with these shadows and I'm really excited to play with them again. I can't wait to do something just like really green and grungy with like these greens and like these golds. Whew, I can't wait. And then I just have so many ideas. I could do a lot of different looks with this palette. I feel like this blue-green palette is very versatile, kind of like how the Affinity 2 is just very versatile. You can do a lot of different kinds of looks, even though it is blue-green themed. The tones are just all so different that you can do a lot of cool stuff, and you can do a lot with this as well. Also, because I know people are going to ask, I will at some point do a palette bingo with the Flare and Oceanic, because that's going to be really cute. I want to actually look at these color stories next to each other. Oh, yes. Like the flare palette is already so me and it's just adding the oceanic palette makes it that next level. Ooh, oh I would love to pair these together in a look. That would be so cute. Also, I will do a multi palette bingo with kind of all of my blue green palettes as well once I have the whale song in. And I think that's really all I have to say. Let me know what you think of this palette. Let's just chat in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see in the future, although I do have most of this month planned out already. I have been on a planning kick.
but we'll see what happens. I have exciting things for this month. I can't wait. If you enjoyed this first impressions video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Beauty and follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe here before you leave. I post at least five days a week, but it's usually six or seven. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.